started digging this out. <laughs> Stumped to an old bush that was here. And it's clearly deeper than we were thinking it was. <laughs> and that came out of it. <laughs> our, how, our yard is literally a junkyard. We found skateboard wheels. Uh, what else? All kinds of stuff. Uh, bones. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. Yeah. But that was under there. And that was a handle to a bucket like that. Somebody lost their Home Depot bucket. <laughs> We're putting mulch down there, down there. It's going to be on this here too. And on this here. It's already over here. Been doing a lot of mulching and taking up grass and yeah, that's fun. I actually have a wound from that blister that popped. My mints are all doing good. My borage is doing good. I'm trying to remember what I had planted here. I know this is what I had planted. I just don't know what it is. My onions are doing good. And Patty, I think we might have you some bulbs before too much longer. <laughs> yeah, that seems like nice. <laughs> I have so much onion. I got an overabundance of onion, I think. Kale and flowers. These calendula. Even through the ice storm, have been blooming. And this chrysanthemum that's so tall, that is last year's chrysanthemum as well. And so are all of those wildflowers right there. Yeah, they like these fabric uh, containers. They are doing great. My grapes are starting to show some life. Both of them. My rhubarb looks better now. It was looking quite sad after I transplanted it there, but now it's doing better. I probably should have cut the seed pod thing off of it, but I didn't. Nothing planted here yet. The trellises are all planted with seeds. We'll see what happens. There's beans here and here and I kind of just mixed them so it's a mix of beans and same on the very end one down there and then of course my grapes on that one um cucumbers on all but one side here and that's um got some pumpkins on it my tomatoes are gonna go here and this does get more sun than it is getting right now. <laughs> the, the, the moment I'm showing you this is the shadiest time of the day for it. And I'm not sure what's going in that bed yet. I think most of my herbs are going to go right here. My lavender's already there. I'm thinking about putting a hollyhock right in the corner there. And... Look at all that mint coming back up with my blueberries. Clematis came back that I thought I killed last year. And I think this here looks like the Malbar spinach, but I think it might be a weed because there's some starting to come up over here too. So we'll see. My blueberries are doing wonderful. This one doesn't have as many as the rest of them, but look at this. My broccoli is actually getting heads on it. See that? All of them are, some of them are kind of weird colored. These strawberries, look it. Yeah, 
they're all getting flowers and strawberries and these ones here two of them are supposed to be red and all the rest are supposed to be white so we'll see what happens with that look at the borage coming up it was there and now it's there and there and there and there and all over there <laughs> and my bulbs are starting to come up quite a few of them what is that I got some kind of it's not a cocoon of some sort maybe I don't know let's go out in the street <laughs> And some more coming up here and here. Can't wait until they come up fully so that I get the beautiful flowers. These are super 100s and they're already getting flowers. My cilantro is getting big. I've been eating on my collards like crazy. Oh, I got some Doc trying to come up in with those. And those are starting to get seed pods. Kale seed pods taste good as the pod, too. And so do the flowers. At least in my opinion. Nothing's here yet except for one pepper. My other peppers will go there, too, I think. These peas are still trying. <laughs> Oop. Let's take this one off. There. Aren't those beautiful? My pretty flowers. Not normally a pink fan, but I love these. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the garden at moment. You guys have a great day.